What is up besties and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Scotty Holiday. I'm a queer creator and a huge Star Wars nerd. So if you're into either one of those things, please consider subscribing for more. Speaking of subscribers, I wanted to once again say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel recently and since the beginning. We finally hit 100 subscribers and I think we're at like 135 right now. So I just want to say thank you so much and I really appreciate every single one of you. So in this video, I want to talk about my hopes for Andor Season 2. And before we get into it, please make sure to like the video and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see in the second season of Andor. Make sure to check out my Andor series playlist for all my Season 1 episode reviews and podcast guest spots with Krypton to Alderaan and This is the Way Seekers at the link in the cards and in the description below. Now, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is what we know so far about Season 2. So season two has begun filming this week and it's actually expected to film until August of 2023 with a expected release date of 2024. Tony Gilroy is back as a writer, showrunner, and executive producer. And he confirmed that season two is going to take place over four years and lead up into Rogue One. Each of the four years is going to be covered in three episode arcs and this time those three episodes are going to take place over one year. Season 2 specifically is going to start one year after the events of the Season 1 finale. As of right now, the only confirmed characters are, of course, Cassian Andor, Mon Mothma, and K2SO. When asked about returning characters in an interview with Collider, Tony Gilroy said, Everybody who lives that we care about has got to come back. If they lived in the show, they're alive which I love because season one had so many good new characters and I definitely want to see more of them. And as of right now, the only confirmed location that we have so far for season two is the rebel base on Yavin 4, which is kind of a given because I don't know how they could have this lead up into Rogue One and not show Yavin at some point. So the next thing I want to talk about is the things that I would like to see in Season 2. Tony Gilroy has stated multiple times that Season 2 is going to lead into Rogue One. Now whether or not that means it's going to lead right up into the first moments of Rogue One, kind of like Rogue One did with A New Hope, or if it's going to lead into and past Rogue One, if that's the case, we could even get some kind of epilogue where we see kind of what our characters from the show were doing during the events of Rogue One and maybe even after. The next thing I want to see in Season 2 is just more of Mon Mothma. Honestly, going into it, I wasn't really attached to Mon Mothma at all, but now I can't get enough of her. And I think she should honestly have her own series at this point, but definitely give us more Mon Mothma in Season 2. Something I thought that would be cool that we could see was Mon's speech denouncing Palpatine for his role in the Gorman Massacre, which we saw in Star Wars Rebels. So maybe because of that, it's unlikely to see it again in live action. But in general, I think it would just be cool to see her leave the Senate to fully commit to the Rebellion, since we know by the time of Rogue One, she is fully in. Something else we see in Star Wars Rebels is the relationship between Saw Gerrera and Mon Mothma. I really want to see how they meet and what kind of falling out they have because there is a lot of tension between the two of them and I want to know what gets them to that point. Something else I want for Mon in Season 2 is I want to see her leave Coruscant. She really was just on Coruscant all of Season 1, whether it was in the Senate building, in her home, or in her car. So it'd be really great to see Mon go other places, which kind of leads me into the fact that after Season 1, I kind of want to see Chandrilla in Season 2. And Chandrilla is something we haven't seen, I don't think, ever in Star Wars, at least not in canon. So I think it'd be really cool to go to Chandrilla at some point in Season 2 as well. Now one thing I am not excited about for Mon in Season 2 is eventually she's gonna cut her hair into that horrible short haircut that she has in Rogue One all the way through Return of the Jedi. And honestly, I'm not excited about that. I love her slaying with her longer hair, so hopefully we'll get to keep our yesified Mon Mothma. And, you know, even with the little pixie cut that she has going on, I still want to see her look glamorous because, I mean, she may be a rebel leader, but she's going to look stunning whether or not she's having a party or fighting for the galaxy. That's just Mon. <laughs> 
Also something I want to see in season 2 at some point is for Cassian to meet back up with his Ferrix family. He sends Bix, Brasso, B2, Jezzy, and Wilman Pack off to Ganji Moon. We see that happen at the end of season 1 and he says that he'll come find them. And I want to see him come find them on Ganji Moon in season 2. Just the people of Ferrix have such a close bond and I would hate for Cassian to never get to reunite with them and I really think there's a lot more to their story as well as Cassian's and those stories intertwining so I really hope we get to see them reunited in season 2. When it comes to Cassian meeting people in season 2, of course I cannot wait to see how he meets Mon Mothma and I really hope that's something that we get to see on screen versus something that happens between one of the arcs. At this point, I can only imagine that Luthen would be the one to introduce them, but we really have no idea. As I said in some of my reviews, I think Vel sees Cassian's worth, especially after the aftermath of Eldani, and it could very well be her who introduces him to Mon, especially since that's her cousin after all. <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see, but they obviously are going to meet in season two, and I'm really interested to see how that's going to happen. With Star Wars Rebels and Andor kind of going along the same timeline, there's no way they can get around not having any kind of crossover in the series. So I expect to see some kind of Star Wars Rebels tie-in in Season 2, and I really hope that we do. Also in Season 2, I want to see Vel and Cinta's relationship explored more. A big thing about Season 1 is, you know, Vel and Cinta, their relationship and queer representation. I've talked about it a couple times in my reviews, but I just want to see more. I don't want Disney and Lucasfilm to shy away from the fact that they're just like every other couple in the galaxy. They're just like every other couple in Star Wars. They just happen to be two queer women. I want to see them kiss. At this point, I think we have to see them kiss. As a queer Star Wars fan, that's something that I want to see. I want to see that representation on screen. And I think we're getting there. And I think we will see more of that queer representation in season two. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I also don't want to see a tragic end for them, and I don't want them to die. So let's get more queer representation and not kill the queer characters or give us a tragic story between the two of them in season two. I think we'll definitely get to see more of their story, and I really just hope for the best at this point. Of course, in season two, there's a couple things that I want to see continued from season one, and um, I don't want to say fixed, but... Uh, <laughs> I want to see more aliens in season two. Um, you know, we got a couple aliens in season one. We had Vetch, we had the two aliens on Narkina 5, and there were some aliens on Coruscant, which we saw at Mon's parties, and kind of when they're on the lower levels and Lonnie goes to speak with Luthen. I just want to see more aliens and more aliens in the forefront. We know there's tons of aliens involved in the Rebel Alliance, and we definitely saw that in Rogue One. So I want to see them more in the forefront. Give us a not necessarily doesn't have to be a main character, but, you know, let's have Cassian have a storyline where he works with an alien character instead of a human character. Something as simple as that. It's just so Star Wars to see the different cool creature designs and all the different cool aliens. Something that I think doesn't get talked about enough, and I can't believe I'm honestly saying this as well, the Book of Boba Fett gave us great alien characters and great prosthetics. We had the Athorian Mayor, who looked amazing and specifically in the scenes where Boba Fett's speaking with all the different crime families you know we have the Trandoshans we have the Klaatuinians there's another one that I can't remember off the top of my head because I haven't rewatched it since it aired uh, <laughs> but those characters looked so great and they were all practical and I think that they can bring characters like that into the forefront of the series and I just want to see more aliens in season two and I want season two to continue on the amazing writing that we had in season one and the amazing characters that we had. You know, originally the show was going to be, I think, four or five seasons, but they bumped it down to two. You know, season one was great because we got that whole year in 12 episodes. But in season two, we're getting one year in just three episodes. So... Yeah, there's a little bit of a worry there just because that long series really, we really got to live and breathe with our characters and I just want that to continue in season two. I want to see them continue with their great attention to detail and use of physical sets. The physical sets honestly made Andor 
probably look the best out of any of the Star Wars live action streaming series, at least to me. And of course the volume was used, and when it was used I think it looked great. The combination of the physical sets with the volume I think did wonders for how the show looked on screen and just immersing us into it, and I want to see them continue that as well. And lastly, I just want more seasons. <laughs> I just want more seasons of Andor. I want more than two. It's just so fucking good. Something else that we have to talk about is who are we going to see in season two? Or at least who do I want to see in season two? On top of all of our characters who could pop up from season one who are still alive. Brasso, Bix, Jezzy, B2, Luthen, Velencinta, Dedra Miro, Tay Colma, and I also want to see more of Lonnie Young. And I think another character that would be great to see in season two is Kino Loy. You know, Andy Serkis blew me out of the water with Kino Loy, and I would like to see him again in season two. I think it'd be great if he just showed up in one episode. Not only would it surprise Cassian, but it would surprise us as the audience as well. And I think that would just be so cool to see what Kino is up to. And I'd like to think that he'd be working with a rebel cell. Another character I want to see more of is Saw Gerrera. Saw Gerrera is such a cool character and we have and we haven't seen a lot of him. Uh, he's put into Star Wars stories as kind of this rebel extremist, but I want to get more into Saw Gerrera. And we started to get more into Saw Gerrera in Season 1 of Andor and I really want to see just a bit more of him in Season 2. As I mentioned before, I want to see how his relationship with Mon Mothma starts and kind of what happens to where we see it end up in Star Wars Rebels. Speaking of Star Wars Rebels, I think it would be great to have some Star Wars Rebels tie-ins in Season 2 of Andor. I don't expect to have a lot, like I don't think, you know, Kanan and Ezra are going to show up and work with Cassian and Mon Mothma, but... You know, something as simple as like in Rogue One, you know, we see Chopper, we hear them mention General Syndulla on the loudspeaker. With the Ahsoka series, we know we're getting Hera in live action, so if anything, I think we could end up seeing Hera come into Andor Season 2. Someone we didn't see in Season 1 that I think we probably should have, so we should definitely see them in Season 2 is Bail Organa. We know in Revenge of the Sith, in those deleted scenes with Mon Mothma, Padme, and the Delegation of 2000, Bail play a huge part in those kind of first steps into the rebellion against the Empire. And we know from other material that Bail Organa was also a big figure within the rebellion and one of the big leaders. I mean, we see him in Rogue One on Yavin 4. We see him in Star Wars Rebels. He works with the Fulcrum agents. Bale had a huge part in the creation of the Rebellion and their formation, so I kind of think we have to see him in Season 2. And I want to see him and Mon Mothma working together because I really love those two characters and I want to see more of them. Somebody else that I'd really like to see in Season 2 that we did not see in Season 1 is Emperor Palpatine. I am not going to let this go. I really hope we get our Palpatine cameo at some point before the end of Season 2. I think just a Palpatine hologram in the Senate, something as simple as that would be great for the series. And, you know, at the end of season one, we kind of got the post credit scene of the Death Star kind of looming in the background. And I'd love to see something similar where we just get a reminder of Palpatine looming in the background. So I'd love to get a Palpatine cameo at some point in season two as well. Another character I think that could play a part in season two is director Krennic. Obviously we know he plays a big part in Rogue One, so it kind of makes sense for him to show up at some point in Season 2. And last but not least, sexy, blue leader, daddy, Antok Merrick. It would be a shame not to see him on our screens, and we need daddy in Andor Season 2. <laughs> Now, some characters that I'd like to see in Season 2, but are less likely than the previous ones I mentioned, I kind of touched on this before, are Star Wars Rebels characters. Especially because in Star Wars Rebels, we saw Mon Mothma work directly with the Ghost crew. Seeing Hera, or any of the Ghost crew really, in Season 2 would make sense, and with the fact that they're bringing a lot of them into live action, like from a marketing standpoint, that makes complete sense. So I think it would also be cool to see the Fulcrum agents working together in Andor Season 2. We've got Cassian, Ahsoka Tano, and Agent Callus. I think it would be great to see the three of them together. I think it would also be great with Ahsoka specifically 
just to get her kind of in that post-Clone Wars Rebels era to see more of those Ahsoka-isms that some people have felt are missing in Ahsoka's portrayal in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett by Rosario Dawson. I don't know if they would recast for a younger Ahsoka or if they'd keep Rosario Dawson, but either way, I think it would do a lot for the character. I think it'd be cool to see Cassie and Ahsoka and Callus working together, even if it's just, you know, a little cameo, a little hologram message. And then last but not least, I think it could be fun to see Princess Leia. We know that Leia was doing some work for the Rebellion in her younger years, which we saw in Star Wars Rebels, so I think it'd be cool to see her, even if it's just a little cameo. So that's what I want to see in Andor Season 2, but who or what do you want to see in Andor Season 2? We've got a ton of time to speculate, so let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter so we can chat more about it together. If you enjoyed my Andor reviews, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. You can check out all of my Andor Season 1 reviews and podcast guest spots at the link in the description below and on the end screen of this video in my Andor series playlist. Please consider checking them out and leaving a like, I really appreciate all of your support. To keep up with all of my Star Wars content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and consider following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Hive for all my latest updates. Thank you all so much for watching and may the Force be with you.